So guys, since last episode, we've begun to put in some really good results together, and as such, our form has begun to really improve. It's looking as if playoffs could become a real possibility for us. So guys, welcome back to the Stones Rolling On Up series here on LS Plays FM and to what is going to be episode 20. I cannot quite believe we're already at 20 episodes into the series already. It's gone very, very quickly. We've begun to pick up some decent form in the save currently. Of course, over the last few episodes, we've been pretty inconsistent as of late. But we've now gone on a really decent run since the FA Trophy game where we played Sutton United last episode. So as I say, when we played Sutton, we got the win and we got through to the next round of the FA Trophy, which we're going to play today. And we've then since played four league games off screen. And we've managed to get three wins from those four games. We have lost our most recent game where we got smashed a bit. But other than that, we've been really, really decent, especially defensively. So the first of the four games that we played was AFC Fylde, which we got a 3-0 win against them, which was a really, really good result because Fylde were third or fourth place and I thought we were going to get smashed because they beat us 4-0 in the reverse fixture early in the season. But we played very well, got a 3-0 win over them at home. We then played Kidderminster away and beat them as well. Got a 1-0 win with a very last-minute goal from Justin Malazor. It was a 94th-minute goal. He's got a habit of doing that for us, as old Justin. We then, though, played Chorley, who are still bottom of the league, by far the worst team in the league by some distance and we beat them very comfortably 2-0. It could have been a lot more but we only put two of the efforts past the goalkeeper in this match but I was very happy with that and from those three games we were looking really decent in the table. We then came up against Sutton United who we had obviously only just played recently again and we got smashed 4-0. Really no idea what happened here. It was very much like FM'd us to be honest. We had way more shots than them. I think they only had five or six shots on target all game. They just put all four back in the back of the net and we couldn't stop them don't really know what happened I've kind of just written this off as a bit of a one-off kind of defeat otherwise though we looked very good and defensively we kept three clean sheets in a row which we haven't done since the very beginning of the season so that was some really good signs right there we have now though got the FA Trophy second round coming up in this episode which we got drawn against Kitty Minster again so we got to play up against them once more for the third time this season already and then we've got Notts County at home in the league. So a very tough game in the league coming up after Kidderminster, which we will be playing first of all. Before we get into our tactics though for the game, I'll just show you the league table, show you how we're doing. And after those three wins and a defeat, so we picked up nine points from possible 12, we are currently sitting just inside the playoffs on 44 points. We have a point ahead of Hartlepool, and then we also have Ebbsfleet, who are two points behind but have a game in hand. So if they win, they will leapfrog us. But if someone had said to me at the beginning of the season, you'd be in 7th place after over half of the games of the season have been played, I would have snapped their arm off. Because importantly as well of us being in the playoffs is the fact we're 20 points clear of 21st place Boreham which is massive. That is still my goal is to just comfortably stay up and we'll just see what else we can do. If we can somehow get into the playoffs, amazing. But I do wonder if this form will kind of hold out. As I say, we are very inconsistent. It just seems to be that we've just gone a little bit of a consistent run currently. Now we've lost against us, we'll probably get spanked in both these games that we play today. Hopefully not, but we'll have to see what happens. Let's though get into the tactics for the FA Trophy game here against Kidderminster. So for the Kidderminster game here, we are going relatively strong, even though it is the FA Trophy. I've dropped a few plays because they performed badly against Sutton in the previous match. But we're going with Julie in net, with Joel Senior right back. Denham and Marshall as a centre-back pair with Ronan Hurley at left-back. We've got Bryce and Hanby at DM. Sam Corn and Alfie Payne in the midfield. And Malazor and Kinsella because they've both played pretty decently over the past four matches other than the Sutton game. And then Jamie Thomas up front who has scored twice in his last four. Currently we still haven't signed down to a new contract and he is wanted currently by Lincoln. So at the moment I am still trying to negotiate with him. He is getting closer to accepting a contract. He has lowered his demands. So we may be able to finally sign him down to a new deal. Have to wait and see. But we are getting there, slowly but surely. We have also got Stefan O'Connor on the bench. He's very nearly fit. He'll probably be fit for the Notts County game in a week's time in game. So hopefully we'll see him in this episode. But let's get into the game then against Kidderminster. 
So let's submit the team in and we'll see how they've had to line up against us. I haven't checked the scout report, so rather foolishly, so I haven't seen how they are going to line up. They are going with a 4 2 3 1. So it'll be interesting to see how we cope with it. We have beaten them both times we've played them this season, narrowly, mind you. We beat them 1 0 just a few days ago in game, and then we also beat them 2 1 early on in the season. So hopefully we can get our third win against them. This match here will be going to extra time in the FA Trophy if it is level after 90 minutes. We managed to actually agree to go to extra time if that was the case. So there will be no replay. So whatever happens, we will definitely be playing the Notts County game after this one. But hopefully we can get through. Of course, we previously in the FA Trophy last year reached the quarterfinals where we lost to Notts County. And I believe if we get past this round, we have one more round to get through before we reach the quarterfinals. I can never remember the FA Trophy how many rounds there are. But we are getting into the latter stages of it now. And Kidderminster are arguably one of the easier teams we could have got drawn against. Well, there's never anything, there's never such thing as an easy game really in football. So we'll have to see how we get on. Hopefully we can get through. I do want us to do well in it. It's always good for morale and finances. So hopefully we can do. Good ball in there. Unlucky for Jamie Thomas. Would have been a nice start if we got that goal. But as I say, no, it is nice for finances. Currently the club isn't doing brilliantly financially. We lost a lot of money over the past few months. So this could help to kind of balance the books a little bit if we do get further. So I definitely won't say no to a run in the FA Trophy here. This first half, however, though, is completely dead. We've seen one highlight and we've gone straight to half time. So really poor first half there. We've had a habit of doing this lately. Of just the first half, we just don't seem to do anything. We defend quite well, but we don't really attack at all. So I'm going to say that I'm not happy and I'm going to send them out there to see what we can do. If by 60, 65 minutes it's still level, we'll go 4 4 2. I'm going to put something positive, mind you, for now and see what we can do. Jamie Thomas ball in doesn't go to anyone. Kinsella's got it back, though. Out to Ronan Hurley. Come on, Ronan. You've got a spent. Who's taking it? Is it Jamie taking it? I didn't get a chance to actually see who was going to take it before it got done. Is Jamie Thomas stepping up? Come on, Jamie. Get in there, Jamie. That's his first pen of the season. He missed one earlier on in the season. So he's got his first one here. Currently, the penalty taker before that had been Jordan Hume, who had, I think, three of three or two of three. I can't remember. But it's good to see it. Jamie's got one there. It's his eighth for the season. He's catching up with Justin Mallazor, who's currently on nine. So he is doing well this season, Jamie, after his initial injury, which kind of really kind of made him stutter with in terms of getting into form. But he is beginning to find some now. The last kind of six to eight weeks, he's probably got about five or six goals. So he's doing pretty well. That's a poor bit of defending, and that's really poor goalkeeping. We got away with that. It's offside. That was awful from us, though, there. I mean, just no one marked him. I know he was off, just, but nobody marked him. And then Julie Andrews at his near post, just he could have stood still when it would hit him and he would save it. But he was like, ugh, oh, no, he's gone in. Right, okay, let's make some subs. We're now 75 minutes in, and I'm wondering if we go five at the back totally honest I think we could do we could give Stefan some game time and I think that's what we will do I'm going to take off Bryce no Bryce come on bring him off for of Stefan I want to put him in the middle no all right I'll do this we can actually get him in the position there we go I do hate the way that that happens with football managers sometimes it like doesn't realizing doesn't realize where you're clicking properly annoyingly right are we going to change anything else I don't think we will I think we'll just leave it at this for the moment. Actually, no, I'll make same corner ball in the field on defend. And we'll go cautious. And then we'll get back into the game. So we've still got 15 minutes. So I don't want to make too many changes. And then they scored and we have to change it all back up again. So we'll just go with that for the moment. They've gone 4-4-2 now. Okay. Right. As a result, take off pass into space. We'll take off the overlap. And I'm also going to make another change. We'll make Hurley more defensive. And I'm going to take off Alfie Payne for the Belgium. We'll make him box to box. And we'll see. Hopefully, we can just see the game out now. Oh, oh no, I accidentally clicked. I don't want to see that. Come on, let's go defensive. Last few minutes, we're we just going to see another narrow 1 0 win against Kidderminster. We certainly are. Defended very well. They had one shot all game. It was only a penalty, but I don't care. Wins a win at the end of the day. We got the job done. Well done, lads. Right, I'm going to tell them exactly that. Good win, boys. Well done. And let's go forward here. So I wonder if there's any big teams left in the competition. So some games have gone to a replay. We've got Notts County have gone through. Wrexham have gone through. Stockport went through. Hartlepool. Be interested if Dover go through. We get joining against Dover. That'll be a big derby game. 
But yeah, there's still a few teams left in it which could do a job against us. But overall, we are in a good position. We're into the next round of the FA Trophy. Right, let's get into our next game, though, for this episode against Notts County. And I believe the draw will be in between, so I'll let you know who we get drawn against for the next round. So here we are then, guys, at the Notts County game, ready for our action today in the Vanarama National. And we've gone with a slightly rotated side. I've dropped a couple of players due to there being a few players who've had a bit of a moan at the moment in-game. I've dropped Joel Senior at right back for Gavin Hoy. Senior got annoyed at me when I decided to praise him for his training performances and then he got he got the arse. So I said, all right, well, basically I've then dropped him for this game as a result because I never like it in the game when the players moan at me for anything. I've also dropped Ross Marshall for the same reason. So I've given George Alicobi the start here instead. And then I'm also playing Stephen Kinsella on the right instead of a Malazor with Dan Wishart as well. Just because of the fact that Notts County likes to often, well at least the scout report said that they like to play a five at the back formation. So it makes sense for us to try and play wider. So I've gone with that there and that's why I've dropped Malazor. I'm keeping him on the bench in case we need to go narrower. But I'm going to try going wider for the, at least the beginning of the game anyway. Stefan O'Connor is going to stay on the bench currently. He's still not fully fit. He's very, very close. So hopefully again we can maybe give him some action off the bench here. Jamie Thomas has possibly agreed a contract. He came to me and asked for a new contract. I said I'd give him one. And he has now accepted one in principle. I'm just waiting for him to actually sign it. And hopefully we should have him for another two years. I don't know if we can actually see the offer here. Oh, actually, no, we can do. If we have a look at the contract offer on here, you can see there's a lot of things I've had to offer him. So, yeah, we have to see what he decides to do with it. He has agreed to up the release fees. He's agreed to double it which is a very positive sign. But we'll get into this game here, and then maybe come next episode, he may finally have signed a new deal for us. So let's submit the team then, and we'll see if Notts County do indeed decide to line up with five at the back. So let's see if our scouts were correct. So they have indeed gone five at the back. They've gone rather defensive, to be honest. They've got arguably six defensive players in that side there, so we'll have to see how we do against them. Notts County are actually struggling in the league. They're down in 14th place, which is really surprising given the strength of their team. It really is. So, I mean, although they are struggling, I'm not expecting us to go here and beat them. I'm, I'm never going to be expecting that. Notts County is such a strong side. But if we can get anything here, it will be really, really good signs for us. Before we kind of get go, well, hang on, actually, I'll say after this, we've got a highlight. Can sell a free kick. Been cleared. Is it going to be our highlight? Is it going to be Notts County? It's their player's got the bold, bold widgeon or bold widgeon. I don't know how you pronounce it. How's it what's he going to do? Is he going to whip it in? He has. He dinked it at the far post. Brindley. And, oh, it's gone in off of Julie. Oh, Julie, what are you doing there? It's hit your back and it's just bobbled over the line. That's not one of our favourite things we want to see Julie Andrews doing, is it? Oh, she should be doing so much better. Oh, Julie, Julie, Julie. Oh, that's disappointing. Not the start we wanted. I was going to say, kind of before we get going, you might obviously notice the different room. I am back home now in my flat. So from now on, you should see the normal background you're used to. So no more of being at the, at the other house now. Another highlight, though, to, for us to have a look at. Notts County throwing. Wishart's won the ball back. He's done well. Now, what's he going to do with it? He lumps it over to Sam Corn. He's done very well. Bryce Natanbury to Hoyt to Kinsella. Come on, Stephen. Come on. Don't lose it. He's all right, boys. Got it to Alfie Payne. Come on, Alfie. Over to Dan Wishart. Come on. Dan Wishart on the ball. Oh, he's got the ball back. Wishart's ball in. Kinsella's there. Get in there, Stephen. Yes. Come on. Well done. I'm going to put us a little bit wider, actually, because I forgot I hadn't actually changed it in the actual tactics. I've just put the out and out wingers on. That, though, is exactly what I want us to do. The winger crossing it to the other winger, just exploiting that extra space out there. Really good ball across, and then Kinsella just puts it back across the face of goal. Really decent goal there. Not bad. Also, saying as well, I'll just make you aware of, guys, is a video that would have just come out recently is an experiment video I'm doing. I haven't done any experiments on the channel as of yet, and it's my first one that I've done. It's a, an experiment where we're going to be looking at the what would happen if the Premier League TV deal was kind of split fairly, or at least more fairly, across the English leagues. So it'd be interesting to see what kind of results from doing that type of experiment. So if you like experiments, have a look at that. It's, a, it's been released yesterday and there will be a part two for the following week as well. So if you do like experiment, go and have a look at that as well. But we're here at half time and not an overly brilliant first half. I mean, we are level, which is good. So I'm going to tell them we're not doing bad. 
but there's not really much for either team really here. Only been one highlight for both, and they've both gone in, so not really brilliant goalkeeping from either side. But we'll see how we get on in this second half. To be honest, if someone had said at the beginning of the game, get a draw against Nos County, I would have taken that. So we'll see what happens here. Although saying that, Notts County had a very decent chance. Good save there from Julie. Well done there. Come on, is, is the highlight going to continue or is that the end of it? Julie lumps it up the pitch. Is Wishart going to win it? No, he's not. Bird on the ball to Crawford. O'Brien, this looks like the highlight is going to continue and this could well be another attack for Notts County. Out to Brindley. I think that's Sonny Brindley or Sonny Brindley. What are you doing with it? He's whipped it across. Regan Booty on the left and he's scored it. Of course he has. Oh, so poor. Very, very, very poor there. Ah, not brilliant. Okay, we don't need to see that again. All right, I'm going to put us on positive then, and I'm going to say demand more. I'm not going to change anything tactically just yet. Okay, so we're getting towards 70 minutes. It's still 2-1. Right, we're going to go 4-4-2 then. We're going to take off Bryce for Jordan. Bring on, and then we'll swap them over. We'll push the two wingers up. We'll drop Sam Corn to a ball in midfielder. We'll put Alfie on deep lying playmaker on support. And we'll go like this, I think. And we'll go positive as well. And we'll be even wider. Come on. Let's really go for this. Got nothing to lose, really, because we're already losing anyway. So if you can see the extra goals, it's not the end of the world. But we'll see if we can get one back. We're into the into 80th minute now. We're not seeing anything. Come on, we'll go attacking. Still nothing, right? Jordan could go attacking then. Sam Corn on a support role. We'll bring on a Malazor. Do we do anything else? Okay, I tell you what, we'll bring on the uh, the Belgian for Corn. See if we can get anything else out of this. We'll go more direct and all. Come on. Not seen anything since like the opening highlight of the second half, Nick. Really poor. We're gonna. Oh, there's a, there is a highlight. There is a highlight. It's a Knox County free kick, mind you. Is it? Are we gonna clear it? Julie's got the ball. This could actually be a highlight for us then. Come on, Julie. Get a good kick out and let's go. Julie Andrews lumps it up. Come on, he'll win it. Defenders missed it. That one, the other one has recovered though. Sam Slocum, who's a decent goalkeeper, especially at this level. Are we going to get the ball off of Notts County here? Hurley's won it back. Come on, Wishart. He's lumped it up. Not really to anyone. That was no, there's no real kind of accuracy there whatsoever. Got the ball back. Gavin Hoyt is on the ball. He lumps it up. Thomas wins it. Amalazor, come on. Good ball. Hume, get in there, Jordan. Really good ball to cross by Justin Amalazor. Really well picked out. I didn't even kind of see the space that Hume was in when Amalazor had the ball. So he's done very well to find him there. Really, really good cross. And a decent finish from Hume. He hasn't scored in a little while. So this will do his confidence a world of good. And just a really good little effort there, right into that bottom right. Slocum very nearly got it, so we got a little bit of luck. But considering their first goal, the own goal, we deserved a little bit of luck, to be totally honest. Is it going to finish to... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hold the phone. There's another highlight. 94th minute, we're over the allotted time. Malazor's flicked it on. Hoyt, Malazor, back to Hoyt. He's put it in. He's missed everyone with shot, you're offside. Yeah. Ah... As soon as that fell to him, I was like, you're definitely offside there, Daniel. No way you're on. It's a bit unlucky. I'm pretty sure he was miles off because Dan Wishart's there at the back. Yeah, yeah, he was really far offside. Not even close. Oh, well. Take a two-all draw. Really good result there, to be totally honest. It gets very, very tough Notts County side. I'm going to tell the boys they're unlucky. Let's see how that does us in the table with that draw. So with the two-all draw, we still stay in seventh place. We're ahead on goal difference currently, but Evsley and Sutton both still had their games in hand, so we could still kind of drop out in between episodes. But overall, very, very happy with that performance. Let's now, guys, get into the schedule, and we'll see what we'll come back for next episode. So if we scroll down, of course, just played Notts County. I'm thinking that as we are still in the FA Trophy and we are getting to latter stages, we didn't get to see the latter stages last year, we'll make sure to see them this year round. And we've been drawn against Haven and Waterlooville at home. So what we'll do is we'll come back for Haven and Waterlooville. And then we'll come back for the Hemel Hempstead game straight after as well. Because it again, similar to the Kidderminster game today, the Haven and Waterlooville game has got extra time arranged. So it will definitely be one match that we will be playing in the FA Trophy. So it'll be Haven and Waterlooville and Kidderminster for next episode. So guys, that just about wraps up today's episode 
overall two pretty decent performances. We managed to get through the FA Trophy into the next round and we got ourselves a pretty decent draw against Haven at Moore to from the league below. So it should be an arguably easier tie. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, I've underestimated teams before in this save. So we'll have to see quite what happens. Walton Casual was already kind of jumping up in my memory already, kind of haunting me. So hopefully we don't see a repeat of that we've had in the next episode. And then, of course, Notts County, who we got a decent draw against. Of course, we very nearly got the win. A little bit of bad luck. But we got a point, which is better than losing anyway. Still, we are just about inside the playoffs, amazingly, after almost 30 games. So hopefully, come next episode, we may still be in that fight. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, we're going to be playing Hemel Hempstead as well in the league. So going to be an interesting game there against one of the other fellow teams that came up with us from the league below. Hopefully, though, guys, you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please do chuck a like on the episode. Also, let me know down in the comment section what you thought of those games. And also do let me know if you think it was the right decision to give Jamie Thomas a new contract. Personally, I think it was. Of course, we still need to wait and see if he will accept it. Hopefully, he will do. But we'll have to kind of see. I think it makes more sense to at least up that release clause primarily, even though it means giving him a big pay rise. But he's Jamie Thomas in the day. He's very, very good for us. And of course, if you're looking forward to seeing more of these stones rolling on up save, guys, then do subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything to do with the save. But guys, thank you very much for watching today. I will see you again next time.